Hi, I'm Science Man and welcome to Science Anomaly. In this video series, we tackle misinformation and misconceptions and we try to do it in under 10 minutes. So, let's get started. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. One of the greatest scientific discoveries of all time was Newton's discovering white light was actually made of colors. But a common misconception exists regarding Newton's experimentation with light. After creating a spectrum with a prism, it is often written and diagrammed that he recomposed the spectrum into a beam of white light with a second prism. In fact, this never occurred. While it is technically possible to recompose a spectrum with a second prism, it is exceedingly difficult to do so. The spectrum can only be recomposed at a very small point and it certainly cannot be recomposed into a beam of white light. To do that, you would need at least three prisms. So, what did Newton actually do? Well, instead of using a prism, Newton actually used a convex lens to recompose the light, similar to what you see here. Newton's experimentation with light is described in a famous letter he wrote to the Royal Society, which was later published in the Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society in 1671. In that letter, he describes exactly how he conducted the experiment. And he clearly describes using a lens, not a prism, to recombine the colors into white light. Now, in summary, this commonly held misconception in no way changes the underlying principle of the dispersion of white light. The dispersion of white light into a spectrum can certainly be accomplished by using a prism. A spectrum can also be recomposed into white light, but as historical documents clearly describe, Newton's method did not involve two prisms. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Science Anomaly. Hope to see you again soon, and don't forget to subscribe.